Hi, so this is the second video in a series on estimation skills. And they are fairly straightforward, but it's just by way of illustration that in maths it's always good to have an estimate of the kind of answer that you're going to be looking for when you're tackling not just GCSE problems, but just normal problems in everyday life, so visits to the supermarket. If you have a look at the post on mathsrap.co.uk, that will give you also a downloadable worksheet that you can have a go at for yourself. Um, and try some of the problems. That might give you an indication of where estimation skills can be used quite a lot in, in your maths. Um, this particular question is round about level C, level D. Uh, it's fairly straightforward um, and it asks you to estimate the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so it's a little bit trickier, but I think it's not a bad question because it will give you some idea of working with things like a value of pi and the value of the radius and that sort of thing. So just by way of the uh, question, it's a cylinder with a radius of four centimetres and it's got a height of... Um, I've not drawn this particularly well, it's not, not exactly to scale, but um, it's close enough. It's going to be a height of 9.7 centimetres. Okay, right. And what they want you to do is to estimate the value of this cylinder. Now this particular question appears on a non-calculator paper, so they would expect you just to be able to estimate and to calculate uh, to, to estimate and give a rough approximation. It's only worth a couple of marks, but it's not a bad little question really just to, just to take a few marks. Okay, so the first thing that you need to be aware of is that volume equals area times height. Okay, uh, and again if you have a look at mathsrap.co.uk um, there are some uh, posts on working out volumes of 3D shapes. So you could have a go at those, and they are calculator type questions. So this one is an estimate. Okay, so the first thing is, is that the value of the area is the value of the, the circle at the top. Okay, so if I turn that tin over, then the circle at the top has got a radius of 4 centimetres. And the um, calculation formula that we use is pi r squared. Um, the height that we've got, we've already got, is 9.7, which is the, the value there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is use this information, but I'm going to estimate. So the first thing is, is that I need to look at a value of pi. Well, for most calculations, pi is usually given... Um, as 3.142 or on some papers it's given as 3.14 or it might on odd occasions be given to you as a fraction which is 22 over 7. Okay, um, or a couple of other different, or you could even use the value of pi in a calculator. Um, for the purposes of this estimation exercise, really a value of pi for as three would be absolutely fine. Um, it's close enough. Point one four two is only a relatively small amount, um, but it, it's something that you need to perhaps be aware of as a value of pi. But we're going to use three. We're also going to look at the radius, which is four centimeters. They might well change that in uh, some exams, so they'll say it's 3.97 centimetres or 4.01. But again, for this, we're going to call it 4. And because it's radius squared, it's 4 times 4. And I, I usually write it like that because it just makes it a little bit easier for me. So radius squared is 4 times 4. And then heights, well it's 9.7, so I'm going to call it 10. Because I know that if I multiply something by 10, then all I really need to do is just add a zero to the end of my calculation. Okay, so um, to calculate this, I need to know a little bit about my times tables. I've got 3 times 4 is 12, and then 12 times 4 is 48. 
So 3 times 4 is 12, and then multiplied by 4 again is 48. And then if I'm multiplying any number by 10, all I need to do is add a 0 to the end. So in terms of my calculation, 480 centimetres cubed is perfectly good as an estimate. Okay. And that would give you your two or three marks in an exam question. It is useful to be able to do something like this anyway, because even if you were being asked to calculate an exact amount, having it in your mind of roughly what you think it's going to be would be very helpful. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below. Uh, have a look at the uh, post on MathsRap or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and if you want to add a comment, then I will get back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.